spin, 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 spin me. How you doing? I'm down at the beach, as I can be, and it's always a good place to film, particularly when there's no one around. As long as you can hear me, it does get a bit it is blustery and it is stormy-ish. But anyway, I don't really have too much to say, it's just the things that have been on my mind. I've uh, stayed away from uh, Octopi Christchurch today, only because I've got things on my mind with regards to it. Um, just uh, trying to figure out some processes and things just to make the place run a bit smoother. Um, only because I, I need to get a little bit more involved in the actual protest side of things, uh, not necessarily the, the camp logistics. So I just want to try to finalise some camp logistics stuff and just have that so that it's in place and ticking over so that um, I can can actually be more productive in what I'm actually doing. Uh, being that it is a community, it is uh, tough to make sure everyone's on the same page in that sense, and being that it's a small community too, um, forever growing slowly, but also very transient and moving around with a lot of busy people. So uh, just the inflow of new people and having to explain things again and people that are you know, it's just people coming and going and which is a beautiful thing but uh, logistically yeah some of their processes ain't uh, well adjusted enough kind of thing so I've just got my mindset on trying to fix all those things before I so I can go back this week and um, really nail them in and get them sorted so hopefully that works yeah, that's all I kind of have on my mind. Went out geocaching today in the lovely sun and weather and all that kind of stuff and just enjoyed myself a little bit. Because um, in the long term, Occupy Christchurch is going to be there for a long time, just like they all are, you know. It's the excitement and the, the oh, let's get in there and do something, you know. It, it, it lasts for a wee bit and then we do have to make it not sustainable make it sustainable, not sustainable in a way that is like a sustainable environment which is what we want to do but sustainable in the long run so that we don't get burnt out um, because there are a few that are feeling like that, and I'm one included as well, so just all those kind of things <laughs> and my whole mindset based on the whole economic collapse that is coming as well um, I do foresee it being Occupy Christchurch as well as all the occupiers to be honest uh, and Michael Rupert of Collapsenet he also suggested this because he's out at uh, uh, Santa Rosa in California and he's, he said and I was thinking this before he kind of stated this yeah there's going to be a it's going to be a central hub it's going to be a way of facilitating uh, aspects of the collapse because the people there are a lot more uh, aware of the processes and what's going to happen and aware of the hardships and because of that there are a lot of people that are not not ready and not prepared and because they're not ready and prepared uh, mentally it's going to be a shock to their system now whether that happens this month or in the next year or two still going to be a shock to the system so again I've got ideas and things that I really want to push on that but that can only happen if I make all these other proce uh, procedures in place too it's the role of the camp mother but yeah you are the 99% still